Hello, we're here with, for a Catalyst Ranch interview with Matt West, Global Head of Training and Facilitation for Golan. Thank you so much for being here, Matt. You bet. Thanks for having me. And I'd love to jump right in. When you mentioned the importance of meeting facilitation, top of mind with you was play. And you had mentioned that whether it's somebody who's new to the business world or an established leader, a lot of times people need permission to play. Can you tell me a little more about that in the sense of meetings and training? Yeah, it's funny. When we go to meetings, whether they be leadership meetings or offsite meetings, a lot of times we put on this persona that it's that because it's an important decision to make or an important time to spend with our colleagues, we have to act a certain way. And what I love is to give people permission to play because play with play comes this permission to innovate, to be creative, to come up with new ideas, to take everyone in new directions. And what I like to do is introduce uh, elements that allow people to understand, hey, we can, we can shed the persona a little bit and, and have some fun, but not fun just for fun's sake, fun with a purpose, fun with a, with a chance to set a tone to, to try new things. Part of the reason I love Catalyst Ranch is because it, it allows you to do that. You walk into Catalyst Ranch and immediately you, you see, oh, okay, this is a different place. This is a place where I can have a little fun and where I can play, where there are lots of things around me telling me that I can play, and I love that. How, if someone's watching saying, okay, I get it, play, what are some specific ways you can get people to play, exercises or tips for people watching? Yeah, that's a, that is a great question. Uh, there's so many ways you can introduce play. Uh, sometimes it's just setting the tone with an icebreaker, even if people know each other or feel like they know each other. You can do an icebreaker to get them to know each other even just a little bit more and also to set a tone for the meeting. Again, it's not meant to be silly, though it can be silly, uh, but it's not silly for silly sake. It's, it's meant to introduce an idea of spontaneity. Um, and, and usually when we're doing a meeting, I like to make sure that there are moments of interaction at intervals throughout the day. If, we're, if we've got an all-day meeting, I do not like to go... 15, 20, even 30 minutes without there being some kind of infusion of interactivity, whether that be a discussion or just a creative way to do a discussion, such as breaking off into breakout groups, but then giving them some slips of paper that they have to trade. Sometimes I'll have people swap name tags and play someone else for a moment, not to uh, necessarily do, uh, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, to an impression of them, but to act or make decisions on their behalf for that for that moment and think, okay, boy, I'm, I'm in accounting, but now suddenly I'm thinking from a marketing perspective. It allows you to come up with all sorts of new ideas. So those are some of the things that I like to do. And with, with Catalyst Ranch, what kind, what, how did that happen there? Why is it so different for you for instilling play with people? Yeah, well, I, I facilitate meetings all over the place. Sometimes it's in just a classic boardroom where there's a huge conference room that takes up way more space than it should. Sometimes it's in a room that has neon lights that are shining down on you, sucking the life out of you as you meet. Oh. Uh, sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes it's at a hotel. And I try to make the best of every situation. But a place like Catalyst Ranch, you walk in and you immediately see, I have a lot of space to try new things. I have a lot of different ways that I can incorporate physical objects because we all learn through different ways, whether it be through visual or tactile or audible. And that's part of what I like about Catalyst Ranch is that it allows you to be spontaneous yourself. Sometimes I will go into Catalyst Ranch with an agenda, with some play elements, with some interactive elements. By the time I'm done, I look back and realize I did not intend to incorporate those hats into the into the day, but here's this rag of hats in the corner, and of course we have to do something with the hats. And so for me, it's a lot of fun to work at Catalyst Ranch to facilitate meetings there because it allows me to have fun, for me to introduce some spontaneity into the day, and I love that. That is excellent. In closing, what would you say one of the most important parts of play is for someone watching? Why is play so important? Wow. Um, I would say because within all of us, we all remember what it was like to be a child, to be curious. And I think allowing adults to play 
taps into that sense of curiosity. Curiosity is not just a nice to have in business. It is a business imperative. We have to constantly be evolving as business people, regardless of whether we're in a big corporation or we're in a startup or we work by ourselves. Being curious about what can be is so important. And when I facilitate a meeting, play is about curiosity. Let's be curious about what might happen and let's create an environment where I can try that out. And it's okay if I fail because then we'll see. And sometimes failure is exactly what you need to do. So I would suggest that as facilitators, using play in an effective way, knowing that it's not just for fun, though fun is definitely a nice side benefit, but that it actually infuses a sense of curiosity is so important. That is a perfect way to close out. Thank you so much, Matt. Thanks, Mark.